at the time. It was at least a few hundred, maybe like up to $600. Number one, Tave. I use Tave for sending out quotes, invoices. So Tave can hook up to Google Calendar. When you use, I think it's Shoot Proof. If you're using Shoot Proof, it can send out questionnaires automatically for you. Like everything, you can do everything automatically with Tave. It's awesome. And contracts as well. So it's a good place for a photographer to start invoicing from because you can send out questionnaires for clients. Wedding clients can put in all their vendors, bridal parties, you know, all contact info, addresses, etc. all in one place automatically. And all the contracts are sent out with invoices as well and clients can pay through those invoices as well which is good number two pixie set I use pixie set um, I'm thinking about moving to pick time but I'm not too sure at the moment let me know if you use pick time and you used to use pixie set number three of course an Adobe suite or similar I do all my culling in bridge by star ratings and then I just apply my preset to all photos before I open them up and I, you can do that with just, you know, selecting on your thumbnails in Bridge, apply preset, done. And then you open them and adjust as, you know, one by one after that. But it's really convenient. So, yeah, I think it's about $15 Australian a month for just Photoshop, Bridge, maybe Lightroom, like the photography suite. I also pay for video though. Video is much more expensive. Premiere is $30 a month. Australian so now I'm using it a lot more but maybe not worth it if you're only doing photography just get the photography suite um, I also pay for epidemic sound now this may not be worth it if you're not making videos but you might even just be sending out slideshows Fundy is something that I use to make clients albums so it was I think it was quite expensive for me at the time I, I was quite new and I had to buy it in order to create an album which I was shocked by um, at the time it was at least a few hundred maybe like up to $600 or maybe it felt like $600 at the time anyway Fundy is F-U-N-D-Y um, a good program for making collages and albums and other things really good next you might want to buy a preset pack if you are just starting out and you've never used Photoshop or Camera Raw or Lightroom or anything before you might want to start by buying a preset pack from another photographer just to give you a starting point now just keep in mind that presets don't look the same on every shoot they just like even mine I have so many different I might have hundreds I think I have hundreds of presets that I've made for myself because it just depends on your settings it depends whether I'm shooting at 1.4 or 2.8 or with my 35 or with my 50 the colors 24 to 70 the colors and I'm just so different. I kind of know now which preset will suit photos taken on my 24 to 70 and which preset will suit photos taken on my 35 millimeter, etc. So you might want to just ask um, whoever is selling the preset what their settings were and which lens they were using to see if it will suit your photo. Thanks for watching today's video. I have essential subscriptions slash programs for running your photography business. Thanks, bye. <laughs>